<laughs> my people. <laughs> All right, what y'all got? So Lance, um, you're getting a lot of work, it looks like, with your DBs here early in spring uh, practice. How are they holding up? Uh, we got some new additions, of course, Meech Powell, Savion Riley. Uh, then we got a couple freshmen who are doing good. Saquon, of course, Patterson and Dylan Day. So a uh, little bit of growing pains for the young guys, but I think they're making some plays. Today, Dylan Day had a good day. Yesterday, he didn't. And Saquon probably had a better day yesterday. So uh, the other guys are catching on pretty good. Uh, Meech is probably playing the, the strongest out of the guys that have just came in. But uh, yeah, really pleased. Uh, just a little thin in a couple spots. Can you talk about Meech a little bit? We're, we're getting him today. Yeah, he's really, really smart. Uh, of course, he's played a lot of ball games, and he's played in some really big ball games, the biggest ball game in college football. So there's not, not a lot that he hasn't seen. Uh, it's just he's trying to adjust the terminology and a couple of different things, the way we play it. But he's going to be a really good, really impact player for us, I think. Just how do you feel about you know the depth of quarterback right now? Obviously, you know some guys left, draft, and everything. Yeah. Everything you know. How do you feel about where you guys are at depth-wise? Well, we've got a couple injuries, uh, which is hurting us right now. I think we're down to maybe four corners. So anytime you're down to four corners, uh, you start to get tired, and we're having to use a couple safeties to play with the three. So um, you know, hopefully, we'll get uh, Brown uh, back after the spring uh, break, and uh, so that add another guy, and uh, and of course we got a couple freshmen that aren't here yet. So. We'll add some depth uh, if we need to uh, in this offseason if we need. So uh, I feel good, but right now it's not good. We're left in. And then you guys added, uh, you know, Chavis Jackson uh, as a cornerback, defensive backs coach, yeah. cornerbacks coach. Um, obviously, you worked with him in the past. Yeah. So, you know, what was that process like when you guys brought him in? You know, how much did you advocate for him, and how was it like working with him again? Well, I had two uh, cornerback coaches while I was at Marshall. Mm -hmm. uh, first guy left, and then we had a chance to hire whoever we wanted that was available. And kind of knew Chevis from when he played at LSU, who he'd been coached by, Corey Raymond, Nick Saban, Kirby Smart, uh, Bo Pelini, all those guys. So he came from a good pedigree, played in the NFL, and then I saw it firsthand. You know, our corners probably played the best at Marshall that year, my last year there, so I know what he can do. And uh, he's already made a difference with our corners here. So a uh, really good teacher, very motivated guy, and I think he'll do a good job of proving. It seems like Jaden, Paris, and Savion are going first team. From yeah. What we can see. How are they doing, and just what are they bringing to this? Doing good. Uh, Harris is probably the most improved player, I think, on the defense right now. But he's got a lot of confidence. He's not sitting behind two older guys, Cam Kitchen, and, uh, of course, uh, my big safety boundary guy, uh, Copley. James, James, James Williams. <laughs> Sorry, James. Uh, so, uh, but he's played last year. You know, Harris has played. So right now he's playing the boundary safety, but I'm going to move him to some field safety as well and keep swapping him and Savion and just add those young guys in there as well. What so, is Savion doing? Savion's long, he's got good top end speed. Uh, right now he's trying to learn everything. Uh, I think he's a little tired today, uh, kind of got on him. But we're getting a little thin, but uh, he's smart and rangy and he's a really good tackle. So that's what we saw when he played at the end of it. Do you view Mish strictly as a nickel or can he also No, play he's a field safety as well. So when we play uh, base, uh, where we bring the sandbacker in, he'll play the free safety. But when we go to nickel, he becomes the nickel. Are there any other guys that you could move from safety to corner or vice versa? Dylan Day is one of the guys that's been playing out there who I think I have a chance, but he's he's young. Right now he's playing nickel, free safety, and corner. So he's playing a lot of reps at a lot of different positions. He's probably the only one inside that I think could do it, maybe Markeith Williams. Yeah. Uh, he's been doing well, too. Markeith's having the first good three days, so really excited about him as well. How about Jadis and his opportunity? It's how the other mids come on. Or yeah, he doing? he's doing good. Uh, we, we've been... We've been holding a little bit, so uh, we tried to put the oven mitts on to keep it from holding. But he's probably, you know, I've seen the most improvement at corner from the uh, from the fall. So uh, he's doing really well. Uh, him and Coach Jackson. Coach Jackson's kind of a tall corner when he played, so it kind of relates uh, to him. You know, so. Coach, uh, the energy's been really high. You know, how does it feel to be able to be back for the second year here and get it, being able to coach those guys here? Well, most of the guys know the defense, which is good. So you're not having to install a whole new defense. And, of course, we hired a defensive back coach that already knows the system. So I didn't have to teach the defensive back the system, uh, coach the system. So it's a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. We've had a really three good days. Uh, quarterback is really hard to defend. He's going to be a really good football player. He extends plays. So uh, I'm really excited and uh, like where we're at. But we need to make a, a step further when we come back from spring break. Yeah, obviously, part of a lot about DBs, but looking at the linebackers, um, who among that like that young group from last year's class has kind of made the biggest jump, biggest improvement lately? Probably Popo. You know, Popo's running with the ones. Um, also, think Wesley's improved drastically. You know, Kiko's not going right now, so um, 
you know, they're getting a lot of reps, you know. So, uh, Bobby, I think Washington will do well and then keep your eyes on Bobby Floyd. That guy's going to be a really good football player. So, excited about those guys. And then, uh, you know, each and every week, one guy improve and uh, we'll go from there. Just try and create as much depth as we can. We didn't ask you, I think, yet about Elijah Austin. You had him at Marshall, obviously, yeah. for that one year. Just what does he bring? Very fast kid, uh, kind of like a big linebacker. He's going to rush the passer well, um, knows the system. Another guy that's familiar with it, so he didn't have to learn a lot. Um, I think he'll be a, make a big impact. You know, if you look at his highlights from at Marshall last year, probably was his best year. I had him a couple years ago. Uh, my last year there, he was kind of beat up a little bit. He had a bad ankle the year before. He was a lot more productive, but last year he was off the charts. So, uh, yeah, I think he'll make a big impact as well. And you, you got two D tackles, obviously, in the portal. Mm -hmm. You got a freshman D lineman, but the, yeah. just the, the older guys. We had a pick six today. CJ had a pick six. Really? So that okay. was good. Morley uh, is doing really well. Morley's a little bit shorter, compact guy, but he's a, a big effort guy. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a wrestler, uh, you know, throughout high school. Really strong kid with great leverage. So uh, excited about both of those additions. Uh, Coach, what, what area would you like to improve on the most or what would make you most excited going into this season? Generally? Uh, probably just making fewer mistakes schematically, um, gap fits, coverage stuff, um, quarterback scrambling and staying on our routes, you know, what we call plastering, which our quarterback's doing a good job of extending play. So we're having to stay in coverage longer, which is good because it's going to happen. So, um, you know, the last game, we didn't play the run well against Rutgers. We were a little shorthanded, but I thought we played the run for the most part. But just not giving up a bunch of big runs and big plays. you got to stop them and just get the guys tackled and start the chains again, and you always got a chance. Coach, you don't want to assume anything, but you guys played the 3 3 five, I think probably mm -hmm. out of necessity because the injuries on the D-line. Is it something, though, that you think going forward you guys could switch in and out of pretty easily because of what the success you had last year? It just depends on what our numbers look like. I'm trying to get the best players on the field. So we're doing a lot of things out of that structure, not necessarily that personnel, but some of the things that we did. We're doing it out of four down because a guy like Elijah Austin can do that. Yeah. So a guy like Marquise Lightfoot can do that. So trying to stay as multiple as we can with the same personnel. That way the box don't know we're changing personnel and what's coming. What are your thoughts on Cam Ward so far in defending him? It's tough. He's going to be a really good football player. He's very poised. Uh, you can't rattle him. He's seen everything before, and uh, he got something to him. You know, you can tell he's a natural leader. He likes to compete, and uh, I think he can win a bunch of ball games for us. How does that help, like what Gary was saying, how does that help the defense? Having oh, it helps us. When you got a quarterback that's athletic and moves around, uh, you got to stay in coverage longer. You know, it changes your pass rush lanes to where you can't just free rush on a guy. So it's going to help us. You know, right now we're probably not as good as we want to be because of him. Uh, because you know that, first of all, we can't tackle him. We know that. But another thing, he's moving in and out of the pocket, and you're having to adjust your lanes. So he's making it tough on us, but uh, it'll make us a better defense. I really believe that. Ruben Bain take the next step? Uh, Ruben this spring uh, to stay healthy. You know, he's do he did a great job in the weight room. He looks good. He's gained some weight, but he's still explosive and fast. He's strong. So just trying to get him to the fall and get him to Saturday, you know. I think that uh, he's probably got a little bit better pass rush moves right now than he had. He's been working on you can tell. So uh, I'm excited to see what kind of year he can have. You know, then get a guy back like Mesador really helping him. You know, on the other side, along with Elijah, and you know, maybe a couple more additions, uh, it'll free up Ruben a lot more. So, do you see him staying at defensive end, or will he ultimately become a defensive he'll, tackle? I, he'll stay at defensive end for us. I mean, I won't move him because he brings a different dynamic there. Uh, depends who drafts him. You know, if he gets drafted, he goes to a three-four system. I can see him playing a four. Uh, he can play outside, but I think his, you know, he'll end up being inside on that level. I think he'll end up being a three tech. If you ask me, I'm not saying he can't play outside, but if you ask me what I think he is, you know, truthfully, I think he's probably going to be a great three tech in the NFL. I know, so. I know Ruben's obviously part of that freshman class from a year ago, but is there another guy besides him that's really think, taking a big step from year one to year two? Uh, no, nah, it's too early to tell, really. I think a couple of the freshmen, true freshmen, got a chance to make an impact. I don't know if anybody can make an impact like Ruben did. Uh, he's pretty special. I'm not saying they can't, but it's pretty special what he did. I think a lot of people identified Jaquan as maybe one of those, Jaquan Patterson is one of those guys. Yeah. What does he need to do? To well, Jaquan has got probably one of the hardest positions on defense, which is safety. They're the quarterbacks of the defense, so uh, he has to make all the checks. He's got to make sure everything's right, so it's just harder to play as a freshman. 
playing a safety position, whereas a defensive lineman, it's a little bit easier. You know, you can kind of pin years back and go, but on the back end, if you mess up, it's a touchdown. So he's got a taller task. Usually safeties, it takes him probably about a year and a half, a year, you know, get something underneath them. But uh, we're going to try and speed him up, see what he can do. But uh, he definitely has the skill sets to be a difference maker, no doubt. Great. Thank you, Coach.